What's up again guys? Yeah, it's me, your friendly neighborhood Dovakin and welcome back to Let's Play Wasteland 3. And uh, before we begin, be sure to hit on the subscribe button for more great videos. Okay, in the last episode, we brought back October 11's head, a synth hiding in the Colorado Heritage Museum for the Wolf's Hunt quest. We also took care of the Irv problem at the Sans Lux Apartments, and uh, because of that, as you can see, now I have a disposable clone in my squad. Anyway, the previous vid was also devoid of combat, but uh, don't get me wrong, there was still enough death and destruction. It's just that I was able to pull it off by playing smart and using skill checks. In today's vid, we will travel to Broadmoor Heights to meet up with Gideon Reyes in the Church of the Final Deluge for the Unwelcome Guests mission. I will also explore the area to show you what manner of skill checks you'll need for all the interactions there. Alright, let's play. By order of the Patriarch, only authorized personnel are to pass this gate. My uncle, Gideon Reyes, wants to speak to the Rangers. Oh, of course, Miss Wesson. Open it up, fellas! No one's allowed in there. Good day. I guess the only way to get in there is via killing the marshals here. all this. How weather we're having. Just like always. I wish they'd get a younger preacher to come and give sermons. You just want eye candy. Guilty. Wow, another cyborg chicken. And uh, this is the fourth one in the game. To access it, just flip the switch at the left. Nice, Akis ass skill book. I heard Mr. Howe found himself a pretty blonde. We await the coming of the final deluge when the earth shall be swept clean. You're the Rangers, yes? I'm most pleased to see you. I'm Gideon Reyes. Uncle Gideon, you heard about my family? I did, Sobrina, and I'm so sorry. You know you always have a place in my house for as long as you need. I know, and I am grateful. But I have a place with these Rangers now. We mean to see justice done for my family. Is that so, Rangers? She was always an impressive girl. My sister would be proud of her. Now, I expect you're here about my call. There is a situation in Colorado Springs that requires a delicate touch. But first, you need to know the truth about this city. 
Colorado Springs isn't as prosperous as it pretends. We can barely feed our existing population, and now smugglers are bringing refugees into the city every day. If we had enough food to support them, we would welcome them. But we don't. I've asked the Patriarch to chase off these smugglers, but he says the crisis with the Dorseys and his children have left the marshals spread too thin. It seems he'd rather just have Sheriff Daisy keep putting refugees in the pillories, rather than stopping the tide at its source. It's infuriating. And that is why I've called you. Oh, of course. And not just in money. I do a lot of business with the local Arapaho Garage, and I can get them to provide you with mechanics to service your vehicle. They always have the best, and I'll pay for everything. Nice! We could use some decent mechanics. They will be more than decent, I assure you. Now, what do you say? Thank you. I'm told the smugglers are operating out of the bazaar, a trader's market east of Colorado Springs. When you find them, well, do what you can. Convince them to take the refugees elsewhere. Convince them to stop entirely. Arrest them. I just want this problem to go away. Thank you for agreeing to help. You are doing Colorado Springs a great service. Goodbye, and good luck. Before you chat with Miriam Knox, make sure you have this old journal, which I got in Ranger HQ way back. Oh, thank God! You're the Westerners, aren't you? The Rangers? was an Aspen when Vic Buchanan raided the town. Vic took him hostage, but there's been no word for weeks. I know it's frightful, wicked to hope for the safety of one soul over many, but I beg you, find him. Save him if you can. No need to beg, Mrs. Knox. We have business of our own with Vic Buchanan. If your husband's alive, we'll find him. I didn't see you there, Lucia. You're a good girl. Always have been. I'm dreadful sorry for your loss. We have money, Rangers. Even though we don't live fancy like some families do, if you bring my hearty home safe, we'll donate all we can to your cause. Let me see who... Allie Blue? Aunt Allie? My goodness, of course! I'd love to read this! Blue is my maiden name. Back in the old days, the Blues and the Noxes hated each other. Old Aunt Allie almost shot me when I told her I was gonna marry Hardy. Always wanted to know what things were like when she was young. Oh, thank you, Rangers. Let me give you something for this. I know you well. Thank you, Rangers. Now let's fix one of Lucia's possessions. And for this, you'll need Nerd Stuff 3 or Mechanics 4. I can't believe I'm stuck with this assignment. Please step back, Rangers. I'm not supposed to let anyone near this servitor drone. It's malfunctioning something fierce, and we think it belonged to the Wessons. That's right. I recognize that drone. It ran little errands for my father and alphabetized his books. 
No, I, I mean, no, ma'am. Please don't mind me. Go ahead and do whatever you need to do. Hey, look at him go! To get the treasure, just follow it back to the Wesson estate. Objective complete. Current location. Located treasure. Now that's a better rocket launcher. By the way, there's a lot of loot in Lucia's house, but uh, most of the skill checks require high lock picking and explosives. It feels so empty now. Even when Pa and Ma were traveling, they... They were here. Their spirits filled the place. Now, they do not. Only person who knew the combination to that safe was If you think you can guess it, I don't mind. didn't want any Dorsey's to muck around with his cooking supplies. Dorsey's weren't content to rip everything up. They had to toss the furniture around, too. Animals. Couldn't even leave my memories of this place alone. No point looking back there. It smashed up even worse, and the Dorsey's took everything worth stealing. Okay, now let's explore the western part of this map. Not exactly subtle, is it? Just an FYI, there's a secret bunker underneath the monument, but it's not accessible yet. Find the door to the bunker, slightly ajar. I, I listen at the door. Make uh, a perception roll. It's awful dark out here. Maybe we should go inside. 
This was your idea. He said it would be cool to play a game in the park. I got a 15. Do I hear anything? You hear a faint scraping sound inside. Uh, like the sound of a skeletal foot dragging across stone. It's coming closer. <laughs> Did you hear that? It's just the wind. Ah! A pale dog! There's a pale dog watching us! What? Where? I don't see... It's coming after us! Run! Ah! This ladder is actually another treasure hunt. And uh, to find the key and the treasure itself containing a whopping 200 bucks, follow me. Romantic. Don't say that to Miriam Knox. The money kind of wrecks there. it, though. Poor woman. I reckon it's a good thing this proposal was never delivered. Our last destination here is Bellamy Ward's house the science guy that we saved back at the Garden of the Gods. You will need lockpicking 6 for the door, but first, you have to pass his servitor bot with Nerd Stuff 5, as well as Weird Science 4 or Mechanic 7 to upgrade something for his father, Elijah. Rangers, so good to see you. Thank you again for saving my life. I knew the security system needed more security checks, fewer show tunes. Last. You are the Rangers, correct? I expected our paths to cross eventually. Let me express my thanks for saving my son Bellamy in the Garden of the Gods. All I can manage is the ineloquent gratitude of a father who thought he lost his child. May I help you with something? Wonderful news. Please accept this small token of my gratitude. Bye, Rangers. And that's the most important reward here. A rep point from the Hundred Families. Anyhow, there's still the Patriarch's Palace at the north. But uh, we don't have any businesses there yet. So uh, let's go back to HQ to prep for another journey. As per Gideon, the human traffickers are stationed at the Bazaar, which is south of Colorado Springs. And uh, to get there, we have to head out into the world map on board the Kodiak. 
and uh, this will be my first time to ride out. But uh, along the way, we will encounter something inevitable. Tales. And as the name of the quest implies, we are now facing a dilemma. A chance to face off against Erastus Dorsey or to recover a shipment of power armor for the marshals. I will explain my choice later. But uh, where do you think I'll go? North or south? Let's see. To the Hoon homestead it is. Obviously, secure the high ground to gain the advantage. Shoot 
to remind you again. This is Supreme Jerk Mode. The hardest difficulty. And my squad is set. Take note. The Kodiak will be part of your squad in combat. So I'll move it in range as soon as the fight begins. And uh, by the way, I didn't come here to negotiate with Erastus. I'm here to exterminate his hillbilly ass. Alright, let's do this. Huh? Oh shit! The Rangers! They got the jump on us! Let's get them! Easy now, cousins. Before we get to the killing, I'm gonna give these Hotlanders the chance to apologize for killing my brother Jared. Go on, Rangers. Tell us how sorry you are. Cockroach! Now you've done it. You call him my beloved Jarrett a cockroach? Listen up, you cat-loving simp! My name is Erastus Dorsey of the Dorsey clan, and we were sent by God to find you, hunt you, and wipe you from the face of the earth. But now, you've gone and killed my brother. So I'm adding my own wrath to the wrath of God. This ain't just the deluge of blood anymore. It's vengeance. I'm gonna peel off an inch of your skin for every tear I shed over the death of that poor, sweet angel boy. And rangers, I shed a thousand. You taunt me again with Jared's death? Ooh, then the time for talking is over. God says it's time for the skinning knife. You take his name in vain? Kill the blasphemers! Yikes!
and that is how you make things easy. Okay, let's check up on the hooves. Thanks for the help, strangers. We ain't seen a scrap like that in, what, ten years? Twelve, I reckon. But where's our manners? My name's Avi Hoon, and this here's my husband, Angus. Pleased to meet you. You strangers saved our whole family from those bushwhackers. Except for poor old A.D. Who are you folks, anyway? Desert Rangers? Well, that's a new one on me. But we're always the last to get news, living way up here. Tell you what, we ain't got much money, but we got more bullets stashed than we'll ever need. Back when we were young, we were always saving for the next shootout. That ain't near enough for saving our lives, but maybe it'll help keep you safe. Questions? Okay, let's hear them. Sure is. You've got a good eye. That gun was handmade by our son, Alistair, back when he joined the Patriarch's Marshals. Being a hoon, he figured he could make a better rifle than the standard issue. As you can see, he was right. Didn't save him, though. Some yahoo shot him down while he was trying to break up a fight. The gun's all we have left of him. So we like to keep it close. If you insisted on the assault rifle, the Hoons will go aggro on you, as well as Lucia and Marshal Kwan, if he's in your squad. And you have no choice but to kill your companions, so just leave it be. It isn't that good of a gun anyway. On a side note, we also got an automatic weapons skillbook there. Also, the Hoons have a hidden bunker at the backyard. And uh, by the way, Take note of the skill checks in this place. something in this fallen world. Anyhow, tell the family I miss them terribly, and I hope to see you and Pa soon. Your son, Alistair Hoon.
Dorsey's ordinary cat died back at the showdown with the Dorseys. So this unique two-headed goat, Billy and Jean, is the perfect replacement. It has nearly 400 HP and provides plus 10% crit damage. And uh, don't forget to fix the Kodiak with a repair kit. Alright, let's head back out. Systems return to nominal function. why I chose the Hoons over the Arapaho Caravan. First of all, the power armor is not for us, that's for the Marshals. And uh, even if you manage to get a hold of a set very later in the game, it's okay, but uh, it isn't really as great as it sounds. The other reason is loot. If you opted for the convoy, the homestead will be destroyed, and most areas will be inaccessible. Thus, less loot. On the other hand, following my choice, I will visit the caravan later, and uh, we'll see how much loot is still intact. But uh, anyway, I'll do that in the next episode, as well as addressing the unwelcome guest's mission. And that is all there is for now, thanks for watching. Also check out other videos from Sabbath Man Philippines and don't forget to subscribe. See you on my next vid. Peace out, y'all.